The cargo cults of the Second World War were the result of Pacific Islanders witnessing the theatre of war. The movement of people by the United States sharing their cargo supplies with the islanders and the islanders seeing this as godlike activity. Forever longing for their return when war was over as the cargo stopped being dropped from above. This mentality is not as uncommon as you may think. The late Prince Philip visited Vanuatu in the 1940s and shortly after they began to worship him as a living god, but wait till you hear this. Now that the prince is dead, they have began to worship him as an actual god who once walked the earth. It's crazy, but it's true. The prince returned again with the queen in 1974 to Vanuatu. Seemingly answering their prayers to have returned one day and bringing prosperity to their island. On this occasion, local villagers all got together to line the road at Port Vila. As the royals walked past inspecting their outfits, their prayers were seemingly answered. When Prince Charles visited the island in 2018, he was appointed honorary chief. And it's now thought that the tribe may turn to Prince Charles to worship as the living god, as the news of Prince Philip's passing reaches the islanders. They have responded with dances and ritual wailing, along with ceremonial drinking, according to Kirk Hoffman, a royal correspondent. One of the oarsmen taking them ashore was a chap from Tanna called Chief Jack. Former Buckingham Palace spokesman Dickie Arbiter told the New York Post that He thought Philip was a warrior from a long time ago who had come down from the mountains and gone off to England in search of a new bride. From the believer's point of view, he is not English but from their land, the original spirit of which he is in the process of recycling. He is one of their own people. They even explain his light skin with a story that he rolled on a coral reef and it shredded off his black skin and left him white. The son of a mountain spirit travelled over the seas to a distant land. There, he married a powerful woman and in time would return to them. This is what is known as the Prince Philip movement. But what do you guys think about this anyway? Comments below and as always, thank you for watching.